Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm doing a St. Patrick's Day tutorial for you guys today, and it is quite literal, so if you don't like that, then you're not gonna like this tutorial. But first off, I'm gonna start off by wiping my face clean with any excess makeup that didn't get removed the night before. Um, and I'm using just baby wipes for this that are really cheap and they work really well. So now I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Elf soothing serum and moisturize my face with it and it was like the first time I tried it out I believe that day and um, I really actually like this product I am gonna have a review coming soon for the two products I used so just be on the lookout for that so subscribe so you get notified I'm also using the elf like illuminating eye cream or something like that I don't know the names everything will be listed down below I'm gonna use that under my eyes and also around my nostrils so that it um, super hydrates those areas now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the eyes so I'm taking my elf HD lifting concealer no I am not sponsored I wish I was but I am not um, and I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with this so first I'm gonna rub that all over and this is in the shade like fair and it's really dark um, and now I'm gonna take that BH cosmetics eyes on the 80s palette and that's all I'm using today go and check out my fan mail video it's on the little eye or link down below for you guys um, because I received this in a fan mail opening from Shay so thank you so much Shay and that's just the palette I'm gonna take the peachy shade right now and I'm just going to rub that all over or place that all over the top of the concealer to set it even further so that the colors blend out a lot easier now I'm gonna take a blending brush and take this um, coppery shade I believe I don't know what I'm doing here yes the coppery orangey shade I'm gonna put that into the crease and do a bit of a warmer transition this is going to be a base for what we do later and I'm going to take a dark brown and keep it a little bit lower and tighter in the crease with a more denser brush and I do apologize for my eyebrows being so terrible I don't even notice anymore I, this is like unacceptable I'm so sorry so I'm going to blend those two colors together and merge them a little bit um, with just that same fluffy brush from the copper color and I'm going to take this neon matte green shade from the palette and I'm going to take a different fluffy brush and I'm really going to put this into the crease and um, start building up the green base if you will and yeah I, I kept this on for way too long I'm so sorry Now I'm going to take the next green shade over, which does have a little bit of a shimmer to it, but you can't really see it um, once it's on the eye. And I'm going to take that on the same fluffy brush, and I'm actually going to pat this into the crease. I'm not windshield wiping motion, I'm just patting it strictly into the crease. And I'm keeping this more on the outer corner, but if it does get into the inner corner, it's not a big deal. Because I'm going to go in with this neon yellow shade with a different fluffy brush, or it's like the same one cleaned off. And I'm going to windshield wiper that into the inner corner of the eye and kind of pat it into so that it really brightens up the eye. Now I'm going to take the darkest green shadow, which is not a matte, but it is a metallic-y kind of matte, and I am going to put this on the outer corner of the eye, just packing it on with a shading brush, um, like so, and I am working it a little bit into the crease. I'm going to take this golden-y metallic shade, and I am going to wet that on my e.l.f. I don't know what this is, eyeshadow brush, I believe is what they call it. Really great brush for a buck. Um, it doesn't look so great here, and I didn't get a good shot of this either because it got really blurry, but it ends up looking really good. I don't normally like these shades, but with greens, it worked really well. And I'm just finishing blending out the edges of that previous color with the darker green, and I'm working that darker green into the crease. Um, and I did wipe away fallout, so it's not like there isn't any fallout. It's like there's a ton of fallout with the palette, but that's totally fine because they're very pigmented. And I'm just working there. Now I'm gonna wing it out. So I just do show you how quick it is to wing it out with this liner. It's so simple. So now I'm gonna work on the face. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Again, it is too dark, but I'm putting it underneath of my foundation. And I'm gonna blend that out. I put that under my eyes and on any red areas that I might have. And I am just blending it out with my favorite brushes, which I will link that video down below. And now I'm working on my foundation. I'm sorry, I checked my phone. Working on my foundation, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I do have a demo and review of it, so if you want to see it, please check it out. Um, and then I'm going to set my face with the Airspun 
powder. I really love this powder. It's really great, very affordable, and I'm just like baking my whole face, so don't worry. It gets dusted away later, and we're going to go back up here and work on the eyes. Sorry, that's my dog in the background, um, and I'm putting the second shade of green we used on the lower lash line, and I'm going to take the third shade of green. Nope, I took the first one and now I'm taking the second shade of green on the lower lash line to just add some color down there and make it cohesive. And now I'm taking my favorite mascara of all time. This is the Josie Marin Black Oil Mascara, which I am living for. This is just a sample size, but I definitely want to get the full size in the future. It's so amazing. I love it. So I'm going to dust away all of that excess powder from the air spun when we were baking our face and um, just wipe that away with my Kabuki brush. And I'm just checking my face because I'm like trying out that product. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face with my Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in Heat Wave and just put that where I normally put it just to warm up the face because it was looking pretty white for a second. Um, haters are hating. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take the Benefit Dandelion Blush and put that on the apples of my cheeks and all the way back. And I just love this blush. It's great for any look, whether you're gonna do something crazy on the eyes, like green, it's not a typical color I normally use, you know, something like that. I'm gonna take my favorite highlighter of all time from Victoria's Secrets, and it's the All or Nothing highlighter. And I'm gonna apply it with a stippling brush on the nose cheekbones and up above my eyebrows. I'm taking this MAC lipstick, which is like all gone, so it's pointless and it's limited edition. And I'm gonna top it with this LA Colors lip gloss. I don't know the shade, but again, everything is listed down below. And that is it for this week's tutorial, you guys. Um, just in time for St. Patrick's Day, it's coming in a week. Mark your calendars, I believe it's the March 17th. I believe. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys in the bonus video and the vlog for this week. Yes, they are back. Bye guys.